ladies and gentlemen this is the third time I'm about to start this video I can't do anything there is seems to be my neighbors there fighting or something I don't know alrighty uh, <laughs> um, um, yes August is going to be something okay I'm, I'm you know you guys brace for August and trust me um, I pay to live good and um, the the other apartment there was someone um, upstairs and this apartment I'm having it right across from me so um, <laughs> I don't know but anyway um, I'm sorry for the noise in the background but I have to go ahead because now I have the time and I have to do my readings when I'm alone so um, here we go I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry people but I can't do anything else okay um, and I'm not living in the ghetto um, it's unbelievable but I'm not living in the ghetto so um, let's see what basically is going on and I'm sorry for the noise but I, I really have to go on okay um, all right um, the month of August and, and this is it this is the third time I'm starting the video so I expect a lot of um, um, relationships and a lot of fights and a lot of stuff because um, whenever you're doing a video and all of these things coming up it is that because the energy of this planet has changed okay and um, from July you guys can see I even change up the reading of July I've been changing up the readings of July and I've been um, in, in July I have been um, doing the readings just totally different because the angels and guides um, are asking that things be changed up because the changes that is going to be coming between um, July and December is going to be some huge changes people can already feel the anxious and the, the changes that is coming in there is going to be a lot of in this a lot of relationship that is falling apart a lot of people who are getting at each other and that sort of a thing okay Tuesdays in this month and I have a diagraph that I will um, place on the this general video Tuesday and Thursday of this month and Saturday is going to play the most significant role okay these points on Tuesdays um, they're going to go to a high of like the energy vibration of 50% on Tuesdays okay so um, 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 energy vibration of 12 and a half on Tuesdays I'm so sorry and it can go for Tuesday as I as over the 50 but it depends on the sort of energies um, that is coming up okay now um, as we look at this demographic and we're looking and, and to see the energy vibration that is happening and that is transpiring um, there are things that is about to change Wednesday and Tuesday Wednesday and Tuesdays the energy vibration is going to be at least 25% high that that means that a lot of situation is going to be happening whatever the situation that are transparent and whatever the situation that are happening you are going to be feeling the energy vibration um, especially um, you know where irritation level the irritation level is going to be coming up at like 25% and I guess that's why the angels and guides have let this happen um, so that I can give what is to look for especially in the energy vibration for and uh, you know the first demograph is Tuesday the second demograph is Wednesday and the third demograph is on Saturdays and on Saturdays people are more likely to be together so the energy vibrations will uh, basically um, be much more higher now Wednesdays is being focused in this but when this Wednesdays is as if it climbs it basically climbs so as you go from the beginning to the end of the week the energies are climbing but um, the effect the most of the effect is going to be on Tuesdays um, Thursdays and Saturdays okay Wednesdays is a sort of a situation where 20% of the people who are um, earth sign people the earth sign people um, are going to be feeling this demographic ex um, 25 percent energy vibration for them is going to be ex really really heavy and it's going to be like 25 percent um, for the people the earth sign people they're going to be feeling it more because it's a as a is a month of hurt energies okay it is a month of the temperance it's a month of balancing so like the Virgos uh, 
um, the Virgos are going to be feeling this um, very very high okay the Virgos are going to be feeling this um, so um, for you earth sign people be aware that the energy vibration the shift on the planet you're going to be feeling this okay then we have the line wreck um, over all the days of the week now um, Monday and uh, Monday and Monday and Tuesday there seems to be something um, that is affecting the energies on Mondays and Tuesday whatever um, that is affecting the energies on Monday and Tuesday there is obviously an effect of the energies on Monday on Tuesday because it's the extreme eye it's to 50% um, that means whatever is transparent and whatever is happening um, the energy vibration is is, 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 is so high um, that it's going to affect a lot of people okay and Monday is going to be a time when things are going to be at a high level it could be that you're just coming back from the weekend and that sort of a thing Tuesday is more a productive day so Monday and Tuesday um, for some people it will be a productive day and that sort of a thing okay now the other demographic I love the circle demographic because it's always give like more information more balance and more situation okay and it's more of a two percent which is climbing so it's like about each and every person because um, this is the demographic of colors and it goes from blue green um, the hurt colors and then we have the fire sign okay so um, what is transparent and what is basically happening here is that um, people who are changing like the caps people are coming in um, and you can see that that is happening the blue people which is the hair people um, this is very fantastic because what is um, basically happening is that there is uh, um, a high devil greater of 118 okay um, the hurt people are kind of um, stable because it's as if they are balancing out the energy of the hurt so um, this is um, very powerful I'm seeing the cups people um, I love the cups people it's a more orange um, they're, they're orange and the fire people are here they're like 31 42 um, degree of all the energies that is um, transparent and happening so um, I will leave you the graphic I will make sure um, place the graphic on um, on the neat um, if it can work so, um, if I can place it on the neat and now we're going to be um, basically looking at the energies that is going on okay so um, all right expect a lot of situation with relationships in this month a lot of situations with relationships and that sort of a thing um, the month is an earth energy month okay and before I start I want to say uh, another wonderful thank you um, to uh, Sadie um, this month um, this is one of the gifts um, what she gave so um, we're using both um, decks we're using the Tara land um, and the baby ones and the big ones so we'll be using the big ones for the general reading and we use the baby ones uh, for the love and to see what is coming in so Sadie again thank you so much um, this is a book that comes with the Tara land um, it's a beautiful book it's a wonderful book it's so different than the others okay so energy of the month is the energy of uh, um, the temperance the energy of the temperance is a wonderful energy it is a balancing out so the Virgos is going to be a wonderful month for the Virgos I'm loving this deck because this deck is uh, built um, with people and animals people and animals and as I've always said to people um, if you look at some people you can see um, the animal that they were before they come humans because each and every one of us has gone through the process where we was the hair um, the cloud and all of that the stone the trees uh, and then when you become an animal then you evolute to a person and this is why the relationships between animals and people are so um, connected because uh, you was an animal um, then you became a person okay because I know I was a ladybug so 
um, that was my transition transition is that I was a ladybug and sometimes if you look at people and their ears and that sort of a thing they look like little e cups of that sort of a thing because you um, you elevate because each and every person reincarnate, and then you have to go to a long line of things uh, to become a human and this is why I say to a lot of people be grateful that you're a human and you're on this uh, um, planet energy vibration because all of us was all an animal all of us sometimes you can see the features still in some people faces okay just like the footballer who keeps on biting whenever he scores a goal it's because he was a little dog and he's happy whenever dogs and whenever um, yeah dogs are happy they're always biting or peeing on themselves and that sort of a thing we just need to understand the connection between us as human and animals okay and that's another thing that I should go through because there is a lot of um, stuff that is happening and remember Atlantis Atlantis was sunken because we had break the rules of the gods we started to cross animals with human beings and that's when um, Atlantis got sank because we had disrespect the gods because the gods have um, um, the, the gods have developed us uh, with human and uh, and we had gone over crossing um, the boundaries of humans and animals and they were making humans and animals and humans were coming out looking like animals animals so half human half animals okay um, so that is why Atlantis was sunken and yes people Atlantis was on this planet Atlantis um, the Lemuria Atlantis was the first uh, planet but this is something else that I'm going to give in another series um, because people should know um, these sort of a thing okay let's look at this card deck love this card deck it has uh, um, the energy of a human and the bunny rabbit on the, the reverse so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm loving it because what this is saying is that when it when an energy is reverse uh, it's your animal instinct that you're using why the energy is reverse okay because it's always your ego when your energy reverse so let's look at this and let's go into this and um, the caterpillar is there and this is good because it's a month where the caterpillars come out it's a month where caterpillars become butterfly it is a month of August it's a fabulous month and I'm loving loving this deck so thanks again Sadie okay this month of August it is a month of five weeks five weeks we begin with a fire energy and we end it with the earth energies okay so we begin August with the fire um, zodiac energy and we're going to end it with the earth zodiac energy now I used to do this when I started to read it and I stopped do, uh, doing it and the angels and guides have guided me to come back and start doing it now each and every month gets help from certain aspect okay so I'm gonna put the, the the cards on the side so you guys can see it now the month is the month of temperance and balance but there are two energies that is coming out here and what we have we have um, the debt so an ending for um, some people and um, the eggman um, for some people okay so um, at the end of um, uh, at the end of um, this month you can go back and see what has transpired for you in this month okay leave a message um, because some people will have um, some people will find themselves or some people will take this month to connect with themselves some people will have debt um, um, people passing away in their life or a situation ending in their life okay so um, at the end of the month um, remember to come back and let us know what has transpired in your life I will take the picture and this is the general readings okay so as I've said it's the art month and this art month August is the art month and uh, um, this month is going to have uh, um, and I should say um, I've changed up the readings because uh, I um, I need to people um, 
awareness or consciousness to be activated by the cards okay the cards is a tool that activate our consciousness okay so if you like listen or um, listen to the weekly reading because the weekly readings from now are going to be coming um, with the layout of the cards and just with my voice because my voice ill and uh, it's not looking at my face um, that is the message is listen to my voice and seeing um, the energy that is on the cards okay I'm going to try also for a lot of people because I know a lot of people really wanted this and I should say um, um, I should say thank you to Sadie because uh, um, she gave me a brilliant idea because a lot of people wants to see the extended reading because I I, I, I um, sometimes I go over um, the time of the reading some people want to see the extended reading and I'm going to set that up so some people can uh, go and see a really long extended reading of what is to come okay so we have five weeks in the month of August now a powerful energy that comes up in the first week um, I love August having five weeks God knows <laughs> <laughs> I'm seriously loving August having five weeks okay the first week is the energy of the lovers so I did see for a lot of people that in the last week of August and uh, going into the first week of um, the last week of July going to the first week of August that love is going to be here for a lot of people this this um, was seen in your reading most of your reading that love is going to be here this is a water energy this is emotion this is all about love so um, we're going to be taking a deeper look in the general readings to see what is coming out now in the second week is a fire energy this is wonderful because it's movement it's people are going to be moving people are going to be um, if it's vacation so a lot of people will be traveling and that sort of a thing but not only that um, there is going to be people finding new houses new places new situations in your life and this is going to be wonderful okay so um, that is the second week now the third week we have another fire energy um, this is good I'm loving this fire energy because it's strength um, the third week um, and the center of this month is going to be calling for strength and this is going to be wonderful because what is going to happen and transpire is that you're going to have a balance you're going to be looking for a balance in the center of the month okay as we look at the fourth week we have the another water energy um, this is going to affect the Pisces cancer on the scorp the yeah Pisces cancer and scorpion people um, in the third week this is going to be a good week for you Pisces cancer and scorpion okay so um, this is um, basically wonderful and the last and fifth week we have the energy of the wheel of fortune wonderful energy because this is going to affect the Leo's okay this is a Leo energy this is going to affect the Leo so it is the month of the Leo's birthday in the second week you have the energy of the chariot you Leo's and then in the last week you also have the energy of the wheel of fortune but what I'm loving with this month and what is so super super good about this month is that um, these wonderful energies are coming up and it's in a very 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 positive way whatever the situation is um, that is basically transpiring around a lot of people um, you are going to be um, finding out that things are going to be flowing especially for you Leo's um, it is a fabulous month for you Leo's um, the, the strangest thing is that this is the month for the Virgos also but the Virgos govern the month of August in this year because every year the energies change and you can see um, the change in um, your you can see how much the energies in a year is changing because basically things are happening that never used to happen um, like we're having these these single numbers it's always double and single but if you guys realize that in this year there is just so many um, double numbers that is happening there's a lot of eclipse also in 2018 just um, a whole lot of eclipse that is happening in 2018 the thing about the middle of the month is that the energy of the strength is here and the energy of the strength has to do with um, the energy of the strength has to do with 
um, the Sagittarians and this is and this is very good because the Sagittarians are very much coming up in the energies of this month so this is just going to be wonderful it's going to be fantastic okay so not to worry about whatever is going on it's going to be good okay um, so um, another thing that I want you guys to look at and think about another things that I want you guys to look at and think about it is the sense where a whole lot of transition is going to be going on okay a whole lot of transition things are going to be happening changes are going to be happening things are going to magically happen things are just going to magically disappear and come and reappear and that sort of a thing people are going to be carrying also the energy um, of this disappearing act and that sort of a thing okay but the, um, the, the month is governed or the Virgo so a lot of you are going to be having some connection with the Virgos okay energy of the lovers in the first week this is going to have to do um, with the um, the cancers and the Gemini's because the cancers and the Gemini the energy of the lovers is one of the card that the cancers and the Gemini brings out the energy of the lovers okay the energy of uh, um, the chariot and I need to do this um, I was um, advised to do this for someone the energy of the chariot is the Leo okay so here again and the Aries have the energy of the wheel of fortune which is just so uh, the Aries is always the Emperor or um, and the chariot is the Leo okay wheel of fortune comes back around wheel of fortune is obsolete I'm sorry wheel of fortune is obsolete people because they're they're very lucky okay the wheel of fortune is obsolete people and some of you would think that it would be the Sagittarian but it is the obsolete people okay wheel of fortune obsolete people Sun is also uh, Sun is also um, the Aries okay uh, so let's look and see what this moving us uh, uh, in a general reading from the first week into the second week the first week into the second week and I see that this is a reverse cards just by the animal instinct this is good so whatever is happening and it's moving uh, most of you in the first week into the second week is no more fair okay this is the nine of swords in reverse no more fair so this is good and I want to say to you guys that this I have just used it um, open it and um, clear the energies and um, shuffle and was ready for the redone so I haven't yet worked with this this is the first month that we're working together with it so we're sharing together so and the you know whatever the situation with the lovers the lovers is moving a lot of you um, and, and no more fair and you're going to be victorious so it's as if some of you have met the love of your life and uh, you know you're letting go you're not analyzing a relationship anymore you're letting go you're opening up for this love and this love is going to be coming in for you guys because there is no more worries about um, you know if, if there's art break or that sort of a thing then we're looking at uh, um, the second week going into the third week when we have a victory and success but also a movement movement a lot of people will be moving um, uh, maybe a lot of travels and uh, positive information is going to be coming up um, for a lot of people who are deciding to move or travel overseas or um, this is going to be a smooth going in the second week going in the third week okay so if some of you were worried you know if, if, if it's gonna go smoothly yes it's going to be going smoothly and I can hear um, St. Christopher saying good rise so it's going to be um, going smoothly so the ace of one is here it is um, going to be wonderful positive okay as we look at the third week which the third week is uh, the energy of strength going in the fourth week the energy of the hermit um, we have the knight of ones okay we have the knight of ones so this um, um, situation some of you are going to be affected affected by someone um, who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius or obsolete okay and whatever the situation is going in uh, from the third week into the fourth week you could have a situation with this person but we're going to go further to look and see how is this person going to affect you now 
if this person is an air is this person is an Sagittarius person now um, this person is the need to to go and look in at themselves okay so if you're a Sagittarius between the ages of 25 and 45 you need to take a good look at yourself um, and at a situation going leaving the third week going in the fourth week okay this is the reason why I always always said to people go back and listen to the monthly reading because there is a lot of information that is coming out as we look at the fourth week going in the fifth week we have the energy of the Sun this is wonderful this is brilliant this is super super good whatever the situation is of was um, you know and a lot of you uh, you Virgos buy the lottery buy the lottery you Virgo second week going in third week buy the lottery if not by the two weeks um I'm getting this for the Virgos but I'm also getting this um for um, the Leos also buy the lottery buy the lottery okay um, for we going into the fifth week we have the energy of the hermit with the energy of the wheel of fortune now the energy of the hermit with the wheel of fortune and the energy of the Sun this is a beautiful beautiful situation because what it is basically saying it is saying to you guys that you need um, to be more persistent and know that at the end of the month um, some of you are people are going to be winning the lottery um, um, things is going to start happening for you money success and money is going to be starting to happening for you because wheel of fortune is actually a lucky streak so a lot of success and things are going to be happening for you guys okay so as we look at what is transpiring no worries um, you, no need to worry and the energy of the ace of eights of ones and um, this is good um, it's in reverse I know um, and it is uh, seven of swords okay this is this is wonderful and this is positive because the seven of swords is in reverse so this month is so looking up because between the uh, in the second week uh, in the second week um, um, you Leo's have nothing to worry about uh, in the second week the fire people have nothing to worry about whatever the worries was whatever that was transpiring with the worry or worrisome situation and that sort of a thing you have an absolutely no need to worry about this because what this what is going to be happening is that um, um, positive news is about to come um, for you guys okay very very positive news is about to come um, for you guys whatever the situation is or was positive news is about to come for you guys okay so um, not to worry about the situation um, what is happening because good news is about to come out for you guys in um, the second week so um, if some of you had um, situation where um, something was stolen um, this is going to or if you have lost something it's going to be returned okay um, and this is this is very good so let's look what is going to be happening um, in uh, the third week a uh, third week uh, some of you are going to receive uh, um, a positive message especially for the fire people um, or the Leo's Leo's Aries and Sagittarius a positive news and here you have the energy of the Empress so it's going to be the news is going to come about, um, about your materialistic um, thing okay so positive news is on its way and this news is going to be about you know if you were looking for um, money to go on vacation or money um, to send your kids back to school or money to buy a new apartment money to move money for a new car money for new clothes and that sort of a thing um, you're going to be receiving this, okay? Because um, uh, <clears throat> if you were out out in the cold, and I love this picture. It's a, this is a beautiful deck. I've seen it last year, and it was too expensive. I think hell no. And you know this was donated to us, and this is beautiful. Look at this, um, the pigment of this empress. It is a woman 
who has you know she 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 her clothes is torn or that sort of a thing and there come the empress that is going to cover her and you know she put a crown on her head and is helping her um to clay to her so this is what i've always trying to explain um to people that the energy of the empress is actually bringing your materialistic needs to you okay the energy of the empress is actually bringing your materialistic needs to you okay so as we look at this uh, situation with um, going in the fourth week, what is going to be happening in the fourth week uh, with you fire sign people? Uh, we have the energy of the tower. So we have the energy of the tower. So whatever that was stolen is going to be returned. And whoever has done this is going to have some super problem. I love the energy of the star. I love this deck. Thanks again, Sadie. This is a wonderful, wonderful deck. It speaks of what is really, really happening. It is so mysterious, but so wonderful. So the energy of the tower comes down. So it has to do with um, the people, the fire sign people between the ages of 25 and 45. Be careful about what you're doing because the energy of the tower is going to be coming. Okay, be careful about what you're doing because the energy of the tower is going to be coming for you, fire sign people. So, um, it is a very, very important that you, fire sign people, be aware of whatever the situation is and whatever is going to be transpiring because obviously a lot of things are going to be transpiring for you guys okay a lot of things is going to be transpiring for you guys what is the stolen and the empress comes up another reverse card and it is the energy of the fool okay the energy of the fool so um someone tried to get away with something but it's not going to happen okay um, whatever the, the, the person was trying to get away with it's not going to happen okay whoever that was there that was trying to get away with something it's not going to happen because the seven of one so there were people um, in the beginning of the month that was uh, have to do something with the lovers have to do with not being very honest because you have the energy of the lovers you're not very worried about the situation because you feel as if there's not going to be a heartbreak and um, whatever this new start with a lover um, you know it, it's, it's gonna be good you have made the start from July or made the start in the beginning of the month and it's going to be good now whatever movement that you were supposed to do whatever new start you were supposed to do um, with maybe a Taurus or a bird a, a Taurus uh, with a Capricorn um, for you Leah's it's not going to happen okay so let's say that you Leah's were going to decide um, uh, to travel and see a Capricorn it's not going to happen it's as if um, either the person um, is too busy or that sort of a thing but a trip is not going to go through we have here the energy of the six the six of swords and I'm loving this I'm so sorry about the noise outside I'm loving this because um, what is happening is that the six of sword uh, that means that uh, whatever the tower has blown up something the tower as a make an ending to something okay so whatever that um, what's transpiring because it has to do with um, and it, it really has to do with people between the ages of 25 and 45 okay some of you try to do something and get away with something the energy of the tower comes okay um, because you were trying to block someone pros um, uh, you were you know you were trying to block someone process of moving forward and the energy of the tower came up and this is what makes it uh, such an end and the outcomes to the month um, is the eight of cups the outcomes is the month is the eight of cups that means uh, um, uh, um, people or um, basically um, people basically make their decision already okay and it has to do with it's going to affect the Capricorn people 
um, that some of you basically make your decision about a situation and um, whatever that there was you have turned your back on that situation and you're moving forward especially for the Capricorn people um, um, you are going to and it can be also for the Virgo people that you um, decided that a situation you needed to end a situation a situation that no longer serve you you needed to end this situation okay and you decide to end the situation and you're moving away from whatever the situation is okay I'm so sorry again I apologize um, for whatever is going on outside I'm not really that type to go and look or get involved um, so okay so I apologize for that I think it's just <laughs> totally ridiculous if you ask me uh, <laughs> If you have your personal situation, this is no get or um, thing there. Your personal situation, you close your door and you deal with it behind doors. You don't need to get your dirty laundry outside so everybody else can uh, know what is happening. But I guess it happens to where people come from. So it says a lot. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, another beautiful, beautiful deck. That was okay some of you are not going to like um, this because um, I know what you people are saying okay um, this is the animal spirit deck I basically like to work with the animals um, because the universal angels and guides are pushing me towards to work with them now this is something that I would never ever um, look at but this is how uh, you face your fears okay you face your fears because um, for the people in the fourth and fifth dimension you would know why I would never um, use this but you need to face your fear okay um, and, and I know that someone who is watching me um, we spoke about this so um, we need to um, move away um, and release fear okay and um, um, you know just face your fear and stand up there and said look I don't care who you are I gotta use these because my angels and guides come and call now I'm sure you guys have seen me use another deck like this it's called the unknown Torah uh, um, the unknown Torah but I think they have made a very good because they're extremely good I personally have some respect for them and uh, I have both their decks now I think they're super I, I like the packing of it it's just beautiful thanks again Sadie so um, um, as I've said I'm changing up general reading and um, we're doing it different so for the month of August I'm going to um, pull two cards and you can choose which one you are the raccoon Or the snake okay I, I don't worry about me smiling I I have this sometimes my guide says things to me and um, the raccoon and the snake okay what do you receive as I say and I show you oh okay we have the fox still under the raccoon I didn't realize that I have two cards so we have three cards coming up we're gonna talk uh, um, who is the raccoon who is the fox and who is the snake I am going to start doing um, the animal readings um, because each and every one of us have our animal spirit guides and they're calling out there they want me to explore and uh, it's as if I'm teaching people but I'm giving you a little information at a time so I want you to choose are you the raccoon or you the fox or you the snake this reading is going to go over a little bit because the, the fox came in I didn't know that he was behind the raccoon <laughs> okay all right um, the fox okay the raccoon the fox and the snake seriously people okay 
let me see what the raccoon I know I'm a unicorns uh, that's why I use a lot of unicorns cards because um, you guys know and a lot of people are saying is she really looking through the book yes I'm really looking through the book because this is the first time I'm using these cards so I want to know what the raccoon and the fox and and and, and it is is all about because this is seriously people because if you think about it this is this is really serious there's a lot of things that is going to be coming out in the month of August huh with a raccoon and the fox what is happening to the people who are raccoon and what is happening and guess what it is all the fox I found the fox so I think the raccoon ah okay so the fox and raccoon is right behind each other so let's see so we're going to talk about the raccoon okay talented shady in Iden who are you out there talented shady and in Iden who are you out there the raccoon energy is at play within the artistic to greater or lesser degree at best it indicates talents um, a tenaxi and a, a skillfulness with a particularly musical instrument or creative tool its shadow side points to an unresolved issue around self-image and success sometimes using a stage name or wearing a mask works in an artistic form or favor all the time it limits creativity am I who my audience think I am what if I am ready to grow into something more raccoon energy won't let us off the hook until this creative ego um, or fear is resolved okay so um and this is it the raccoon and you know basically I love a raccoon I swear I love raccoon I love foxes I love um, but I love raccoon and this energy of the raccoon is it, it is correct because the raccoon it is the shadow side point to un all unresolved issues and a stage name or wearing a mask so you will see that artists have a stage name and I think it is important um, and I learned this when I was writing my first book it is important to use a stage name or an artist name okay it is to protect your identity okay because and this is it because it says wearing a mask and and some people can be wearing a mask and, and and you know a lot of us on this planet wear a mask i think i'm the one without a mask and certain people have met uh you know who doesn't wear a mask but especially people like us we can't use our original name it is not it is not good to, to do that especially people who does reading it is better to make a stage name because your name is very important I have been stressed in this um, to a lot of people that your name is extremely important and when I wrote my first book I remember I was uploading this book and it says do you want to use your writer's name or your original name and I used my writer's name and that's how we got the energy of the name of my site because I um, um, you need to protect yourself especially when you're writers um, when you're tinder all the movie stars were not born with the name that they have they all changed them all singers I mean look at the singers and the name of the singers uh, um, okay Beyonce is Beyonce and Jay-Z is Jay-Z and that sort of a but look at the rest of uh, of the singers they all have they don't use their correct name they have a stage name okay when in balance um, generous friends exceptional artists when out of balance competition strive against artists to bring into balance make a new work okay so this is a wonderful and I'm loving this animal deck um, and I'm sorry I'm reading from the book but I've never used this deck before so 
so this is I love the raccoon I I feel like a raccoon um, and it is good because um, it is teaching you a lot okay so um, after I read the three um, animals then you can choose to see and and come back and listen the end of the month to see what worked for you okay then um, we have the energy of the fox so who is the fox smart strong partner or mate wise teacher okay and I'm thinking to myself I can be a raccoon or the fox but anyway listen because I'm smart strong um, partner uh, or mate and a wise teacher listen the fox is an enchanting um, creative with plenty of mysteries to go around the fox personality or skillful in business and also make great teachers they are quick to learn and adapt well to new situation foxes are ideal life partners as they commit to relationship for the long term and their mutual characteristic keeps things exciting fox energy helps us stay true to those most dear to us when this card appear reconnection to those you love fox do well when they slip away I don't slip away I'll be right here so <laughs> And when in balance, they're magical, ingenious, they're teachers, they're managers. When out of balance, they're sneaky, on insecure of their identity, unsure of their identity. So when they are out of balance, they're sneaky and unsure of their identity. And this is why I always place the fox energy with a sneaky person because a secret person is someone who um, is not aware of who they are okay I'm or the raccoon I stand out there I know who I am so the true identity whenever um, you know there because everybody balance how to um, to bring into balance partnership and connection okay so the fox um, um, bring in balance um, partnership and connection okay so think about who you are raccoon or the fox okay I got a little of both because I'm a teacher and I'm a long-term partner so I, I I really have a little bit of both okay we're gonna look at the snake oh god Uchi mama okay so the snake should be with a fish family because it's a part of the fish family. So let's see. It's a water um, thing. So let's see. Let's see. And I can't believe that the snake is not by the water. Who? Um, where did I? Okay, you have the turtle. You have the frog. The snake should be here, shouldn't it? The shark is here. And um, the, the swan okay but he's above water then we have the dolphin then we have the, the whale the snake don't tell me that it's a fire element are you serious okay so it's gonna be with a scorpion okay the camel Chisela. Cheeto tiger uh, okay I know guys I know but I'm trying to find I, I can't I can't understand um, that I can't understand that the snake um, is not because the art these are the how comes the snake is not by the sea the people of water energy that's kind of um, unique actually it's, 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 it's really unique I'm loving this it's, it's really unique okay so you have the sea serpent so 
um, the sea serpent, but there is basically nothing. Let's see where the snake is here. And we are all doing this together. I love this animal thing because it's it, it tells you about the herd card, water card, and it's a it's a brilliant brilliant um, book if you um, card deck if you want to know. I saw it and I decided I'm going to be connecting with that. Okay, so using so as we we look, we're still looking for the snake. Apparently, they don't want me to use the snake. Do you? Finally, I found it. So, the snake, guardian of the unawakened magic and creative potential. Okay, the snake is the um, um, uh, if the fourth, the people in the fourth and fifth dimension will know of the rising of um your um is a symbolic uh, our creative life force okay so it is the rising of war um they said it's like a snake that rise to and then it open you uh, your awareness okay the snake is the symbol of uh, our highest potential it is said that the she the the city or of our creative life lies dormant at the base of our spine so a lot of people by the fourth and fifth dimension know what I'm talking okay um, regardless of whether this image um, rings true for you it's well worth considering the amount of unawakening or on top potential within you so is uh, when you're um, um uh, when your thing rise uh, how can you steer it from slumping on experience yogurt or med meditation teachers can lead you the way make haste the snake card appear when there is no more time to waste okay when in balance prosperity creative and charming when out of balance start and stop many things to bring into balance um, the condolina yogurt and meditation okay so that is what I wanted to um, remind you people that if this is the condolina do you see how it lights up it doesn't look like a snake anymore right it's a condolina each and every person um, carries a condolina um, hurtlings um, some starseed people don't have it some do but this is the energy of the condolina okay so for some of you your condolina might be rising um, I know a friend of mine that I, that was I, I was just saying um, Frank um, I know you were having problems with your condolina rising um, so you can do um, Condolina yogurt, uh, yoga. I feel the yogurt. <laughs> so Condolina yoga. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I basically love the changes. So, um, um, and, and um, it's over fifty minutes. I gotta go. I love you all. Um, wishing you a wonderful, a wonderful August. Namaste.